Hi, I'm Adam with Let Us Try That, and we're back in the Let Us Try That test kitchen for another As Seen on TV product review. This time it is the Hot Hands heat resistant silicone gloves. Now, in the infomercial, they show people doing things like flipping bacon, french fries, burgers, and steaks with these things. I'm not going to be doing that. I think that's stupid. I think that's what things like tongs and spatulas are for. They also have a shot in the commercial where someone is picking up a safety pin with these gloves, and I would like to try that because if you have better dexterity with these than you have with a regular oven mitt, that would be good. And of course, I need to see how heat resistant they are. So instead of using it for flipping burgers and bacon, which is dumb, um, I'm just going to use it the way I would normally use a regular oven mitt. I'm going to be handling pots and pans and taking hot things out of the oven, that type of thing. One thing I saw in some other YouTube videos that concerns me a little bit is that these things seem to work just fine for a few seconds and then once the heat transfers through it seems to get hot pretty quickly and stay hot and then you want to tear these things off. So if I can only handle something for three or four seconds that's going to be an epic fail. What I really want to do is try these out and see how they compare to a regular oven mitt. Will they be better? Same? Worse? Let's find out. Okay, let's open up the box and see what these things look like. Looks like there's some tape, but that's no problem. And you get two gloves. along with some instructions. Well, first things first, I want to try these things on, see how they feel. Hmm. Not too bad. There's definitely a little bit of resistance as I bend my fingers, but uh, they feel okay. The dexterity I have with these would certainly be better than something like just using a towel or something like this. But let's test the dexterity. Let's try to pick up some small objects and see how easy or difficult that might be. All right, so let's do a quick dexterity test and see how well I can handle small objects with these gloves. Well, picking up loose change. Ah, I got one, but it wasn't easy. It's not exactly easy to pick up loose change off the counter with these gloves on, but that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. I'm not going to be wearing these gloves to sort loose change. I'm going to be handling hot pots and pans with them. Having said that, I feel like I do have plenty of dexterity for doing that. I can grab the handle of a pan, no problem. So taking a cookie sheet or some type of baking dish out of the oven will be a piece of cake. Now I need to put these things to the real test and that is to see how well they handle heat. So I'm going to heat up a cast iron pan and boil a pot of water and we'll see if these things can take the heat. Okay, this cast iron pan is plenty hot now. There's actually smoke coming off the pan. So that water sizzles and evaporates right away. So. We'll put on the glove, so we'll put on both of them, and we'll handle the pan and see how well it does. Just grabbing the handle, it's fine, I don't feel anything yet. It's starting to get a little warm. A little warmer, but not too bad. 
I don't think I would normally hold the pan this long anyway, so I think it passed I think it passes that test. Now, if I was pulling something out of the oven, I'd be grabbing it around the edges like this. And again, ooh, I, I was just about to say it didn't feel too hot. And then right around these curved parts, it started getting hot. And now I actually feel, even though I put it down, I'm feeling the heat finally make its way all the way through the gloves. If I didn't put it down when I did, I think it might have gotten unbearably hot. So I'm going to turn this burner off and I'll let the water keep boiling and then we'll simulate the test they did in the uh, infomercial where they reach in and grab corn. I'm not going to put anything in there like food items, but uh, once it starts bubbling, I'll do something you probably shouldn't do at home and stick my hand in there and see how long it takes before I start to feel the heat. Okay, this water is good and hot. So I'm going to do something that I wouldn't recommend anyone doing. I'm going to simulate what they do in the infomercial. They grab a piece of corn out of there. I don't have any corn in there, but I'm going to reach in. So if I pulled out a piece of corn, yeah, at first I stick my hand in there and I didn't feel anything, but after a few seconds I started to feel a little warmth. And I only had my hand in there for a moment. Okay, I had my hand in there for about 10 or 12 seconds and it starts getting hot and it gets hotter as time goes by. I had my hand in the boiling water for about 10 to 12 seconds and it started to get a little too hot. I didn't want to wait until it was completely unbearable because taking these gloves off is not quite as easy as a regular oven mitt. A regular oven mitt, you can pull it off very quickly. You can probably even just shake your hand and it will go flying off. This one, it takes a little more effort to get it off. And what I've noticed is that when the glove is in the hot water, even when I remove it from the water, the heat passing through the glove continues to intensify even after I've removed my hand from the heat source. So if you wait until it's unbearable, and it takes you an extra four or five seconds to get this thing off, that could be dangerous. Okay, so I wanted to give you my final thoughts on the Hot Hands heat resistant silicone gloves. First of all, they're only about eight or nine dollars on Amazon and you get two gloves for that price. So they're fairly inexpensive. Now, how do they compare to a regular oven mitt? They're not any better, so if you already have pot holders or oven mitts at home, don't run out and buy this. You don't, really don't need it. They work okay if you're handling something for a, a very short period of time. If something is hot and you're pulling it out of the oven and just putting it on top of the stove, no problem. If you're taking it from the oven to the dining table, that shouldn't be a problem either. But if the item's really hot and you're holding it for more than a few seconds, you can start to feel the heat transferring through the gloves. And the problem is, once you feel the heat transferring through the gloves, even if you remove your hand from the source of the heat, the heat coming through the gloves still continues to intensify. So if you wait until it's unbearable before you start trying to pull the gloves off, you might burn yourself. Since I already have these, I'll probably continue to use them, but I wouldn't recommend that anyone run out and buy these. I think a regular oven mitt or pot holder will do just fine. These are not any better, so you might want to pass on the hot hands. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Let Us Try That product review.